If ever I had a video, really, do I see a Bollywood actress um, diverge or move away from her roots of Bollywood? But I'm happy to see this right now. I'm Yeti Speaks. Uh, I have a new movie trailer for you guys. It's called According to Mark You. And it stars Jacqueline Fernandez, who is a bombshell female actress in Bollywood right now, who has acted with Salman Khan. He's acted with um, Seth Ali Khan. He's acted with many others um, in Bollywood right now. Um, this movie is an English movie. Um, I think it deals mostly with um, betrayal and um, infidelity and also the church um i was just you know doing my research to find out what videos to put in today when i saw this and I, i'm aware that this video might not might, this movie might not actually show it everywhere but because i like the actress a lot and i was really impressed that she moved away from what she was familiar with and did this role i wanted to go ahead and show this um, trailer to you guys so we can both react to it so the movie is called according to matthew and i'm assuming matthew is probably um, the book of Matthew in the Bible, and it stars Jacqueline Fernandez. She, she has two more actors in the movie, but she's the most recognizable person to me. So that's why I'm mentioning her name, Jacqueline Fernandez in According to Matthew. So let's watch this and, watch this and see what this is all about. Here goes. Okay, so that was according to Matthew, uh, starring Jacqueline uh, Fernandez and a guy called Aston Roach, I believe is his name. Um, it seems like a pretty intriguing movie, don't you guys think? Um, kind of sinful, lustful, sinful kind of movie. Um, when I first ever watched this trailer, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. When I first ever watched it, I didn't know it was Jacqueline Fernandez. She reminded me so much of Eva Mendes. I wonder if you guys feel the same way when you see her. Doesn't she remind you of Eva Mendes? She reminds me a lot of Eva Mendes. And I made a mistake, guys, when I was actually introducing um, 
Jacqueline Fernandez to you guys. Now she acts in a lot of Bollywood movies and I assume that she knows Hindi, but she's actually from Sri Lanka, which is also an Asian country, but it's not India. Um, so I guess that she put that distinction in it. But you know, the movie looks like um the regular of the meal kind of movie. Um I'm not sure if it's gonna even show in America right now. But it looks like it might be interesting. And I'm glad that she did something apart from Bollywood, you know, because um many a times um the actresses in Bollywood movies, unless you're like a um a Vidya Balan or like a um or like a, even a Rani Mukherjee now, or even a Kajol or a Priyanka Chopra, uh Kangana Ranaut or um the Pika Padukone. Many of those actresses like to be just beautiful hangers in movies. Um, I put, I used to put Jacqueline Fernandez in that role also. Jacqueline Fernandez, Katrina Kev, Sunishka, um, Sunikishna Sinha. Um, thinking about who else. It was Sanam Kapoor. They don't try to, they don't flex their active muscles. They just prefer to be beautiful hangers in a movie. And I like actresses that are actually out there, you know, trying to get those um, female-oriented movies. Priyanka was doing that before she branched to um, to United States. Um, Kangana Ranaut is doing it also, as well as um, as well as um, even Karina does it sometimes. Sometimes Karina Kapoor could be a hanger on, but sometimes she does female-oriented movies also, like Heroine or even the last one she did where it was a group of girls in the movie. Um, Deepika Padukone is doing it also. In the beginning of her career, Deepika Padukone was more like a hanger, but she's branched out. She's, you know, she's showed her acting prowess. She's very, very good in acting now. So I put Jacqueline um, Fernandez in that category. And honestly speaking, even though I'm happy that she branched to do a different kind of movie apart from Bollywood, I still feel like she's being a hanger in this movie also. She's being a beautiful woman who turned to priest, which is not something. I mean, I guess it could be something in a movie if it's going to be a really, really good story. But really, she's just being the beautiful hanger also in this movie. So, um, I hope that she sees that. I know that it's a good career in Hollywood, in Bollywood to be a beautiful hanger. But if you're only a beautiful hanger in a movie every time, when you get older and you can't do those roles anymore, your career is basically dead in water. So, you need to, act, you need to push yourself to do more roles than just being a beautiful hanger in a movie. That's why you see people like Madhuri Dixit or um, Kajol or Juhi Shaola or even Sri Devi before she passed away. They, those kind of actresses were beautiful hangers at the beginning of their careers, but they branched out and were able to show that they were more than just beautiful hangers in their career. But that's just my basically, that's my opinion though. What do you guys think? Um, do you think I'm being too hard on her? Or do you agree with me that some of those actresses don't like to do more than do more than just show the beautiful faces, get endorsements, and not um um work on their craft to be better actresses. Let me know how you feel. Um, this is according to me. If you if you like the video, if you like the trailer, if you like um Jacqueline Fernandez in the in the role, let me know your comments, your reviews, your reactions and opinions about this trailer. Also, subscribe to this channel and rate my channel, please, if you want to watch more movie trailer reactions. And also Bollywood movie trailer reactions as well as music videos. I'm Yeti Speaks. That's my opinion. Till next time, guys. Bye for now.